Welcome back to another game of Kohath. Let's not waste any time here. Let's go ahead and jump in to another cube draft, shall we? We're going to use our coin here. If any of you know the best method to use coin or gems, let me know. I use gems in my premier drafts, but then for these other things, I tend to use coin. Um, especially like quick drafts, I use coin. Alrighty. Fast enough here. Let's change our layout. All right. Um, interesting. Wilderness Wreck is an interesting card if you want to go a little bit more controlling route. A lot of people have been playing Command Tribal. They seem to like that quite a lot. White Weenie approach. Um, hmm. You can always just go lands too. I kind of like the idea of this command tribal. I think it could be really powerful. Uh, three damage opponent. Put a land from your hand on the battlefield. Creatures you control get one one reach. It's not the strongest of pathways, but it's okay. We'll need a lot of lands to do this. That's for sure. Oh. Yeah, I think Mizzix's Mastery seems really good here. The red's a little bit steep, but I think that that works really well for what we want it to be. Um, here... I think I want the Abundant Harvest here. I think that works best. I'm considering the Inspiring Vantage. It's not a great land, but it's okay. At least it's red for us. But Abundant Harvest will help us continue to get lands, continue to get creatures or non-lands if we want. So it's definitely, definitely the pick for me, I believe. Yeah. None of this is going to help me ramp, is it? We're kind of playing a little bit of a long game, so I don't mind Cosmos Elixir here. I think I like it more than the Temple of Malice at the moment, so... Let's pick up the Cosmos Elixir and see if it can draw some cards and gain us some life. Both of these will be pretty helpful to our game plan. This route is not going to go for mass permanence, I don't think. I think I like Watery Grave here. Now he's very good, but I think Overgrown Tomb sounds even better. Wanting well, some good spells as well. Let's see, Woodland Cemetery for Black Green. Uh huh. I like Lay Claim. We already had the Overgrown Tomb, so I'm not like itching to get to the cemetery. The lay claim will be pretty solid. It lets us cycle, it lets us kind of take from the opponent well. Because we can't have a ton of high-end stuff. We really need a lot of lower, lower end pieces. Lay claim is a nice card for that because you can cycle it for two or you can pay seven to gain control of the permanent. Which is super solid, of course. Um, okay. I don't think we're playing with anyone that I know. Nope. Wonder looting boon is fine. Inscription. Ojatai's command is very strong. Fits our our hope of being command tribal. Yeah, let's let's take this. Boon would be fine too. And of course, exclusion mage. I think being able to tip out your opponent really does a lot of work here too.
I was considering Chapel and Electrolyze, but this coming back could be really good for us. Um, here. I'm gonna take Rune Crab. Really annoy our opponents well. That's what I like to do. Um, yeah, I don't mind body double here. Temple Malice. Uh, fully of Fancies. Yeah, we'll take the folio here. Ooh, this is nice. Um, I thought about Skyclave, but, like, but I like Kilia's intervention quite a lot, too. Um, here we're going to take the land spell. Marauder's fine. It's, it's not the strongest card, but I'm not opposed to playing it. Patient Rebuilding is super strong. Gargaroth is also super strong. Um, yeah, I think those are my two favorites. Patient Rebuilding and Gargaroth. I'm going to take Rebuilding here. I would also play Bond too. It'd be fine. Scooze, of course, does quite a lot of work. Um, the lands are okay. I would take a Rootbound Crag, too, and a Glorybringer, so there's actually a lot here, but I don't know what all we're going to see back. Uh-huh. Hmm. Man, this feels weird. I like Saw It Coming and Counterspell. I love Thassa, but this isn't a Thassa deck. Spiral can now be playable. Cold Steel Heart would be fine. Hedron Archive I would play. Yikes. I'm not sure we're going to get the lands for it because I keep seeing too many other good cards. Stormcaller, 2 minute 2 1. If you kick it, uh, copy the next. Okay. Oh, if you kick it, copy it twice. I see. I would be happy with Stormcaller, of course. I would also be happy with Rome Will. Sarkin would be fine. Um, Oracle would be pretty great, but I'm going to take Wake here. Doubling our mana is really good. Also, Pact would be great, too. Think we go Epiphany here? Or do I go... This is one of the better commands, honestly. All of this feels bad. All of this feels so nasty. I'm going to take Slumgar's command here. Approach is a win condition. I would also love Behold the Multiverse. Um, what do we see come back? Like, Harvester and Blast Zone? Yeah, we're not going to get much great out of this pack, but Approach is going to be good for us. Give us a way to win the game. Our lands need work. A Water Grave and Overgrown Tomb are not going to cut it for us. I think pack 3 is going to be basically all land grabs. We'll take Approach here. Hallowed Fountain is a great pickup, I think. Yeah. Ooh, I 
think I would like a pathway here, but Cleansing Nova feels too good. Definitely needs some board wipes. Go ahead and pick it up. Marius Call, Scattered Groves, Poison the Cup, Baleful Inquisition. We're not doing much black, so Baleful seems wrong, Inquisition seems wrong, Poison the Cup feels quite bad. I think we take the Scattered Groves. I think that's the best card for us here. It feels a little wonky. I'm not sure this Mystic's Mastery is going to make it. We're not very deep in red at all. Our blue looks really good, though. Oh, but we got the uh, Rootbound Crag back. That was one of the cards we wanted. Um, that helps turn on our, our other pieces here. Ooh. Do I take the other counter spell or do I take the ramp? Counter spell. <laughs> okay. Uh, which one of these three do I take? Sick Pact. We don't really have great card draw at the moment. We need some more card draw. Oh, Thoughts Intervention came back. Okay. It's not the best, but it's good enough. Um, I'm not sure we'll play it, but we'll take it. We might play Planeway Celebration. Huh. Fable Passage Temple of Enlightenment. Sword, body, and mind. We're not really a good sword deck. Gaunti's fantastic. I would love that with Bounce Spell Sam Norion. Um, Thief is pretty darn powerful. I think... Hmm. I think we'll take Thief here. I don't know if we'll get the lands back, but I think Thief is good enough in this particular moment. Scarab God, Ashiok. And Ashiok feels really good here, too. Hmm. Kind of a, a super control deck here. I think I like Ashiok. Otherwise, I would think I would choose the Godless Shrine. Command the Dread is also quite good. So subtle. Ashiok's a good way that we can win the game. Ooh. I think I like Hieroglyphic here. Draw some cards. I thought about Fill the Dead. And we're looking okay. Not great. But if I don't take it now, I won't get it. Okay. Ah. Decisions, decisions. Okay, this feels like a pretty easy John Catacomb. Our white is Cleansing Nova, Approach, Heliods. I love double white, actually. We've got three white cards currently. Our black is Thief of Sanity, Silagar's Command. We've got two black sources. Maybe Glacial Fortress is the better pick here. Uh, Scholar is very powerful. Vrassi's Contempt is good. Cloud Vazor is great in the Blink deck. Pilgrim of the Ages is okay if you're running planes. 
Skittering Surveyor if you get a lot of basics, which we don't. I think we go Scholar here. We're probably going to cut back some, some cards here. Only cards of CMC3 are greater in land cards. We miss out on some there. I like Opt. Am I compulsive? Voracious seems okay. You know what doesn't feel like it really got there? Our green. I thought that this would be a better deck for me, and yet here I am feeling like it's just not going to do too well. Hmm. Feels like white and blue are the colors that are most open to us. Okay, great. I don't know. Our lands here at the end seem really good. I think the Mizzix's Mastery might just get ditched. We have one red. If that's the case, I'm not sure a target's command's worth splashing. Blue, green, white, black. Is that what we're playing? this over, get all these lands out. Alright, 28. I want to cut back to 23, so I want to make five cuts here. How much are we doing at instant speed? I mean, some? Not a ton. You know, I'm, I'm not sold on Wreck in this deck. Bangville would be a land if I play it. Three more cuts. I missed the, uh, I believe Teferi's Tutelage is in this cube, so I, did, I don't have that. So unfortunately, I don't think I'll be the best at milling the opponent, but it's something. Feels odd having Rune Crab and not ramping pretty hard. How do I win this game? I win the game by approaching the second sun, lay claim something incredible they have, um, getting back something else. Yeah, I think actually Ruin Crab's probably out. It's a pretty steep curve, but we're playing blue, we're playing white, black, we got one green mana. I think Marari's Wake is still worth it, um, even though we're not really paying creatures. I 
have no red in the deck, right? Great. Is there any reason at all that I need to play Ravone Crag? No. Alright, good. Is there any reason that I want to play Plain White Celebration? Proliferate, gain for life. No. I don't think we're going to get very much benefit out of that card. Okay. Yeah. So you let our planes. So um I think our planes is actually good already. I don't think I need more of that. If I was a betting man, I'd say we need more forests. That's how many blue sources I want. So let's see see if that works out for us here. My black looks good. The green looks good. I think that's it. That's our deck. So very heavy on the blue. We're going to do our best to control the opponent. Um try to get to our high end where we can start using Scarlet Lost Trove and, re and get Approach going. Approach is our best option. We have a couple of sweepers here with Cleansing Nova and Languish. Ogre's Ice Command can help get rid of some problematic creatures that come down. Thief of Sanity can end up getting in and trying to steal some stuff from the opponent, which would be very nice. Um, yeah, overall, I think that this deck feels pretty strong. So... Let's jump right in there for game one, shall we? Alrighty. Let's see what we can do here. Hoping that we can pull out at least one win. Um, a little bit unlike our last draft. This is a really good luck and have fun. Two lands. No, weird. It's a little slow. That's okay. Go ahead and play a farm lane tap to image tap regardless. Okay. Um, we don't have anything to do on two anyway, so we'll have this in your tap. See what we do here. Put it on four. Mono black, huh? Phyrexian Obliterator. I'd like to counter target creature spell and draw a card. And we'll 
pass here. We will use opt here. One part's in step. I imagine they have a kill spell for thief. Lucky there, they do. Yeah, we don't have any way to do it. Unfortunate for us. Oh, CMC3 anyway. Alright, we're gonna take three more here. Follow up plays upon it. Building on Okay. Um, I think we have to put that at the bottom. That's every worked. death is an opportunity to increase my influence, forcing me to discard. I think elimination goes here. You think too much. Right. We're going to kill Planeswalker and target this creature. Opponents under two cards in hand. That really benefits us. to volunteer. Gotta get rid of that. I was hoping they wouldn't have a land so they couldn't play Shade. My way. We will go ahead and languish. All right, we're still in trouble here because they're going to force me to discard this guy with Shaman. I know this is going to in fighting fair. They're gonna blow up Ashiok with Dunse Lawless. Oh, we'll just pass because they're gonna continue to tick up. Unfortunately, that will let me go back and get my thief. And then I, I lose here. See if he pointed that. Is. I really don't care about your plans. <sighs> yep. All right. Oh and one. I felt like our deck did stuff though, which is nice. So. Oh, and one here in this huge F. Let's see about game two. Okay. Hopefully, game two works a little bit more in our favor. Um, that one wasn't the best, but it's okay.
a little bit unfortunate that we we dealt with everything and we had to deal with everything again. We just we only deal with tiny five percent. The five percent still is there. Crew, good luck and have fun. Oh yeah, I really like this hand. Yes, please. Lead on Temple. Um, no, you're not immediately beneficial to us at the moment. Body Devil counters any creature. Any creature. Play the forest, pass our turn. Great. We'll go ahead and hop. Voracious great shark. Yeah, okay. Play the always enter top land. Play Glacial Fortress. We saw it coming over into the Fortel side. So now it helps us be a little bit more mana efficient. Multiple choice, sure. They just want to scry one and draw a card? I'll let that be. Hit that second blue source, that's probably worth plenty. Have the inner tat. Now we get double counter up. Um, no, I'd rather not. Interesting. We go shields down for a turn. I believe that doesn't doesn't crush me. the same about that um let's see I don't particularly want to use Cleansing Nova on it, but I think I have to. And I don't have any way to exile at the moment. That's definitely going to come back down for sure. Faithless Looting? Draws two pitches, treasure map, and to fairy. Okay. Triple land. Okay. Well, that worked in our favor.
There's nothing too crazy to bring back. Discard two cards. That's terribly unfortunate. Okay. Yep. Got a handful of not gonna do much right now. Sweep two additional cards here. One of those being Godless Shrine is great as well. Opponent has counter, I bet. can go back to their hand. Oh no, Exiles. That's fantastic. So I don't have to worry about it again. Mm-hmm. I do not have any green enough for that Mirari's Wake. forced to respawn in a time that I really need to hold up counters, so... Ugh, bummer. 0-2 here. 0-2. Let's go in with game 3. Let's see if we can get a W. Um, I certainly want to. Um, this is going to be perhaps one of the most interesting story arcs on YouTube, is how I can actually get to a win um, <laughs> and arena cube draft. Oh man, I like our deck. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, okay. Lead on the island. Pass. Go ahead and opt. Do I care? Suppose I do. Land again, pass. I don't think I want to use it yet, but chances are our opponent's going to start putting a lot of white weenie guys. Yep. Season Hollow Blade, sure. Go ahead and get deeper in our deck. Mm 
we'll finish the island this time. Don't have creatures in my graveyard. Oh, my courier, okay. Yep. Definitely need a board wipe. And a mana to cast board wipes. Perhaps I should have played that tapped. And then Bane failed. Yeah. Or even foliod and Bane failed. Oh well. Take one here. Yeah, Reese is bad. It's a losing route. because it doesn't bounce. What am I trying to do? Okay. Need to find a languish here. Languish or I lose. Uh, all right. Oh, O and three. I should have kept that hand, probably. <laughs> These things you learn. I kind of wish I could play more games with it. It's unfortunate. O and three. Yuck. Okay. Well, there's there's our game. All right. Well, let's take a look. I actually thought this was a better deck than our last one, and we still went O and three. So. Yikes. Um, I felt like our lands were actually pretty solid. I don't think we were ever really hurting for lands. Um, our curve was so high, though. It really was. That was probably the biggest thing. Two board wipes whenever we're not really running creatures. Probably needed more. Um, the tutelage would have been great on three. That way we could have really worked on milling the opponent out. Um, patient rebuilding was the card that almost won us the game. So, almost. Almost. Um, yeah. You know, I, I really thought the deck was fun to play, at the very least. We also weren't heavy on counter spells. We had Pact, we had Counter Spell itself, we had Saw it coming. That's only three. Three counter spells. Ojitai's plan, kind of. Soul and Guard's plan, kind of. Um, but they're so late in the game. You know, that's five counter spells in a control deck. It's too little. Um, the two board wipes was too little. Um, 
definitely needed a little bit more there. So it is what it is. The heat out intervention was never really worth playing, but in best of one, you gotta have you have to make a decision and play some of them. Thus's intervention potentially could have worked for us um, as another counter spell. I think hindsight shows me that Thus's intervention is better than Helia's intervention. Um, yeah. Um, Mizzix's mastery, of course, is super incredible with things like extra turn spells, but we never got there. Um, yeah, I, I don't actually regret the way the deck was made. I think Thus's intervention would have been a good inclusion over Helia's intervention, but that's the only change I would make, I think. So. I think we just potentially drafted a little poorly, or we just didn't get the things back that we kind of needed um, in order to make the deck work. So that is what it is. 0 and 3 here on the day. Um, certainly seen better draft decks, but we're going to continue trying this. Um, our next draft will most likely be a Strix Haven draft, but we'll be back here for sure. So um, if you did like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe, come back for more. Um, I really do clearly need your help. Um, give me your thoughts. What signals are you seeing that I'm missing? What are the, the thoughts that you have? Um, the cube format itself is fairly new to me. I certainly have always enjoyed watching it. I feel like I make the right calls whenever I'm watching other streamers play it. But clearly, when I'm doing it myself, I have a little bit more trouble. So need your help. Give me your, give me your eyes. Give me your ears. Um, help me see what I need to do. Thanks, friends, and we'll see you next time here at Gaming with Koha.